Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read and display true and false values in C++. Normally when we use the boolean values, for example, let's create a boolean variable and let's say boolean value. All right. Now this bool value is a boolean variable. So when we use C in to read the value to this boolean value, so I'm going to use C in and uh, bool value and uh, and then now we're gonna print out so it's gonna be c out all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this as you guys can see now we need to enter the boolean value so in c plus plus when we use normal io we need to pass either zero or one zero means false one means true here i'm gonna pass zero and if i enter that it returns zero it works properly and uh, i'm gonna build and run it again and I just gonna pass one, hit enter, and you know it works properly. But you know I don't want to pass that zeros and ones for false and true. I want to pass either true or false as a string. So at that time, if I try to do that with this code here, you know I just wanna pass true, and if if I hit enter, you know it returns zero. And if I build and run it again, and if I pass false and hit enter it returns zero it means that we can only pass either zero for false one for true we can't pass true and false like the way that i have done here you know when we use the normal io you know like this code what we can do in c++ is we can set some certain flags and we can read true and false in input and output so we're gonna set the flags to the input and output stream so if you guys don't know about you know this what is this flags or what is this io streams please watch my previous tutorials on it so here what do we need to do is we need to set the flags first i'm gonna set the flag to this um i stream or the input stream you know this c in is an object of this input stream that's why i'm gonna use c in dot set ef set ef function and then we need to set the flags so it's going to be ios because you know the flags are defined in the ios class and then we need to pass the flag so here which is bool alpha and that's it now when i set this flag you know this input stream is able to read the boolean values in terms of true and false all right now we're gonna set the same thing to the output stream so i'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and I'm going to change this one to C out. All right. Now, if I build and run this program, and if I pass true and hit enter, it returns true. And again, if I build and run it, and if I pass false and hit enter, it returns false. So, by setting these flags, we are making the IO streams to read and display the boolean values in terms of true and false. So here I just wanna build and run it again and I'll try to pass a value of 0, you know, whether it works with a 0 for false or 1 for true. And if I hit enter, it returns false, which means it's working properly. And if I build and run it again, and if I pass 1, okay, it returns false, which means, you know, it won't work. You know, I thought it's gonna work. So when we set these flags, we need to pass either true or false in strings, not that zeros and ones. All right. The next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you can uh, set this flag like this using the set f function, or uh, you guys can just insert it. You know, by using the stream extraction and stream insertion operator. When you use c in, we need to use the stream extraction operator and then the flag. You know, which is bool alpha and then the stream extraction operator and here when we use c out and we need to use bool alpha and then the stream insertion operator and make sure that you use it you know just before reading the values all right if i build and run it again you know just to demonstrate the working of this and i'm gonna pass through and it works and similarly if you guys want i'm gonna run it one more time and i'm gonna pass false and it works all right so this is how you guys can read the boolean values as strings you know true or false not zeros and ones so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial